Hey, what is up, guys? This is Joe Taker Joe's, and today I want to share with you my new Zim settings that I ended up using, that I customized myself regarding the new, the new custom smoothie that there is. So, let's just go ahead and start off real quick. So, if you're brand new to the Zim Matrix, let me just show you how to be able to get these settings, so you can be able to see everything that I'm about to show you. First of all, I'm gonna click the top three buttons on the right. Go to global settings. Once you're on this screen, make sure you go ahead and click force game downloads. Now that that's done, click the top three buttons on the right again. Make sure your polling rate here is set to 1000 hertz. Once that's done, go ahead and back out. Go to top three buttons on the right again. New config. Now go ahead and type in Warzone. Now that you have that, go ahead and click Warzone 2. Click the console of your choice. Don't worry. These settings are going to work exactly the same as of right now. They still work exactly the same for each and every one of these consoles. I'm on PC, so I'm just going to go ahead and click PC. I already have the settings, so I'm just going to go back. And now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and click the pencil icon. Now, in the pencil icon underneath where it says Take Your Joe's, I don't know if it's going to say the same on yours, if you're going to leave it like that or change it. Pretty sure you're going to change it. Anyways, scroll down, click the little three buttons. Now, these settings, of course, for you, you're going to go ahead and click paste and you're going to click full config. Now, right here, make sure where it says aiming sources for your DPI to be set to 1600. This is going to this is going to be the DPI for the specific settings. Go ahead and use it. Trust me, it works fantastic. Now, next, we're going to go ahead and click the hip aim. That's going to be set to 36.4. And make sure that the smoothing is set to focus. Mechanics, that's going to be exactly the same. Leave it at normal. Don't move it. For the love of God, leave it the way it is. Just leave it the way it is. Now for aim down sights, this is where it gets awesome. Right here. Make sure you have 23.5. The smoothing to be custom. And you're going to want to input these values right here. Precision, 32.0. Response, 53.3. Easing, 19.6. Now under mechanics, make sure you put that at 125. Now the activation is just going to be exactly the same way it is. Just leave it at default. But yes, these right here are going to be the main settings for when it comes down to ADS, dude. You'll, you'll be able to do nice flicks with nice precision, dude. It's going to be really good. Next, here's where I wanted to show you guys the settings I ended up creating myself. It is not an anti-recoil. Do not get this confused. This is not an anti-recoil. What this is, this is for you to be able, be able to predict the recoil better, which helps you control that recoil a lot better. Not an anti-recoil, because an anti-recoil gives you no recoil whatsoever. You'll start, you are still going to have recoil with this, but you'll be able to predict the patterns a lot better. With that being said, here you go. Do you guys can see it right here? Either way, these are going to be down in the settings below. That way you guys can go ahead and, and just copy and paste. Now, when it comes down to simulate analog behavior, I have it the timing at eight seconds, the aim and stick to be at 50. And that's it. That is it for the settings so far. Now let's go ahead and jump in game. That way you guys can see the settings that I have in game as well. Okay, so now that we're here in game. We're going to go ahead. Oh, dude, I don't know if you guys noticed right now, but right now I ended up changing the background because I ended up switching from different rooms. That, you know, I'll talk about that later. Anywho, let's go to controller settings. Here, you're going to want to have this all the way up. Sensitivities, of course. Now, these are the settings that I have right now for me specifically. You can change these if you want to, but this has worked amazingly for me as of right now still. Go ahead and click advance. Aim assist is going to be at default. Everything else is going to be just the way it is. Now, here's the thing, dude. I don't know if I should leave this at gradual, the way Zim recommends it, or if I should just switch it instantly. I'm going to go ahead and switch it back to gradual because I've been having a better experience with it. I just wanted to see instant, you know, but as of right now, go ahead and put this at gradual. Now, for the dead zones, make sure your stick is set to 10, 10, 1, 1. Everything else, leave it at default. 
Everything else here is just going to be just for like gyro stuff and all that good stuff. You don't need that. You don't need to worry about that. Everything else just leave it at default as well. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for these settings. I already did a showcase of these settings already. So if you want to go watch that, I'll go ahead and link it in the description below that we guys can just go and click it. As well as these uh, Zim settings, they're going to be pasted in the comments below. Because for some reason, people aren't able to copy it through the description. Anywho, you guys have an amazing day. God bless you. Take care. And I really hope these settings work for you. Drop a like down below if it this if it <laughs> drop a like down below if this did help you in any shape or form. I know use these settings as a guideline. That way you can be able to reach your personal best settings. For some people, these settings just work amazingly for them, and for others, they need to bump it up a little or tone it down a little. Nonetheless, use this as a guideline for your personal best settings. God bless you guys. Take care. I'll talk to y'all soon. Adios.